We're making lollipops, not candy lollipops, chicken lollipops. And we're smoking them and we're putting this beautiful glaze on them. You're gonna love them. And if you don't, go watch Rachel Ray, bitches. Pretty certain we lost a couple people right there, wouldn't you think, Chance? I think so. I mean, when you're directed to stop watching, if you don't like something that we're doing, you should stop watching right then. But who could hate chicken? And who could hate a lollipop? But when you put the two of them together, they're, they're just deliciously magical. And then this crazy Asian-influenced glaze that we put on, and they're smoked. Don't worry, I got you covered if you're just gonna do it in the oven. The first part is turning, well, wait. The first part is turning these into lollipops because they're not exactly yet. Let's pay close attention. This, I think you would recognize as a uh, chicken leg, a drum. drum. What's it called, a drum? Chick Drumstick. Drumstick, thank you. So everybody gets that. Here's my real question. What's the yellow? Why is there yellow on the tips of some of these? I don't get it. This one has a little. This one has seemingly none. This one has none. So if you know what the F that is, I wanna hear about it. So the process that we're doing is to turn these into lollipops with all the chicken meat squooshed down to about there and this part clean. And here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take our knife and right about where the meat starts to just turn into like skin and bone. Ooh, that sounds awful. We're gonna cut all the way down to the bone, all the way around the bone. We wanna separate it. You see what I'm saying? We want to separate it. Make sure you've done a good job. And now you got to use two hands for this part. Holding this yellow tip drumstick end, we're going to make the okay sign and push the chicken down. See how that works? It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. That's sweet. But we want to get rid of this because that's gross. And we also, on the smoker or in the oven or however you cook these, we want them to sit flat and they're not. You can see this guy has some problems. So I'm gonna try and first just cut here to flatten them out a bit. I think that's the smoker. Smoker making noise, there you go. Now we're standing tall and straight. Now we can get rid of this nonsense. And you can either just try and pull it off, which is doable sometimes. Ah. Ah, I feel like the Hulk. Ah, ah. There's like gross little tendony things and bullshit and no crap that you actually want. So get rid of all that BS. Now you might want to pick up another little knife, like a little fillet knife or a little paring knife, which if there was a Sam the Cooking Guy one, I would absolutely use at this point. And there may be in the future. Nobody knows. Who knows what the future will bring, Chance? I don't know. Does Max know what the future will bring? Max, I might, I might. Max might know. So now you have a decision to make and I'm gonna let the boys make this decision. Let me just clean this kid up. That's a lovely sitting drumstick, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Okay, I did one a couple seconds ago. I want you guys to choose the ones you prefer. So boys, here's your question. I'm either gonna make them like this or here's the difference, like this. Now, apart from the fact that this kid's got that gross red stuff at the top, do you have a preference for which one you would like to pick up on a tray when they were being passed by me at a party? I think I want the one on our right. This guy? Yeah. Chancy? I, I agree with Max. All right, so we'll still cook this kid, but we're gonna make them all like this because it's really, it's more of a handle. And by the way, if this was one of those claw games in the, in the kid's arcade where the hand thing came down, the claw came down, you'd never get this one. It would just slip away, but this guy, You'd be able to get it and drop it in the hopper. Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, so we'll take these guys. We'll put them on our plate over here. You don't need to see, and we'll continue. Before I get there, just let me just show this pack of chicken. So I've already got two out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think there were 15 legs in here and this was $8.26. Come on. That's some value, wouldn't you think? Yeah, that's yep. cheap. It's an amazing appetizer at a party or even a main course kind of deal at the thing. So let's continue on with the rest of them. Max may add a little, uh, little music to help this go by. 
but it's good practice for you. Okay sign, we push down to separate. Remember, it's not gonna stand up unless you help it stand up. So let's go like this. Now he stands and now we clean up this part. We'll bring in the other knife and we peel it off. Look, if you have chicken issues, this is not the dish for you to make. This is the dish for you to eat and have somebody else make. No way my wife in a thousand years would ever be able to do this. But look, you put something on TV, a little music on, pour yourself a glass of wine, have a soda, smoke a fatty and just chill, let this happen and away you go. So once you've got your little lollipop separated like this, the easy way to get this nonsense around the, 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 the what is it, knuckle, bone end off, is with paper towel. Just grab, twist, and pull, and look, nice and clean. No need to struggle. So here they are, and they look pretty good, actually. I'm gonna be happy bringing them out and showing you them when they're all done. But now we need a little sauce for them, and we're going Asian. I know I have a tendency to go in that direction. A lot of my food for myself is Asian-inspired, but I think for you, you could do anything with these. You could put a barbecue rub on them. You could put barbecue sauce on them. But I say this all the time. You change up your ingredients, it changes everything. These are not hard to find ingredients. Regular everyday supermarket, Western style probably has all of them. Put them together, they go on, and we start cooking and yeah, blah, 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 blah. For blah, people blah. in San Diego, where do you go? For people in San Diego, uh, Southern California, I go to Mitsua, which is a Japanese supermarket that also crosses over into Chinese and, and Korean and some Vietnamese. I go to Ranch 99, which is all over the country, mostly Chinese, but has all the other eases, Japanese, Vietnamese, Korean ease. I go to H Mart or Zion Marketplace that's mostly Korean, but has all the other stuff. Just find yourself a good fun Asian market to go to and go on the weekend. There's always food to take out. Changes everything. Get a couple condiments. Just, there's a chapter in my first cookbook about uh, Asian inspired condiments, I think. Hmm. It was like 20 years ago. It was a long time ago. Well, new cookbook comes out in November. Yeah. Can't show you the picture of it yet. Will soon, next week. I don't know when you're watching this. You might've already owned it by now, but we'll find out. Anyway, let's make our little sauce glaze marinade. Our main base for this will be hoisin sauce, which I always say is like Chinese barbecue sauce. In it goes. Next, we follow up with some honey. I said glaze, lacquer. We want this sweet and shiny. Lovely. Next, some oyster sauce. Honestly, readily available almost anywhere. Some dark soy sauce. I'm using this thick one that I have because I like it. We need some garlic, a couple big cloves crushed in. Oh, look what I did. Jammed it? I jammed it. I thought, shh, piece of shit. I thought I could, gosh darn it. I thought I could jerry rig it and it would just come out and now it's all stuck in shit. World's best garlic press cannot be pushed too far. A little more. Look, that came out now. One more ingredient, Max. You know what it is? Well, I'm looking at your hand right now. <laughs> no, I don't. It's, uh, I can't see. The all spice? Five spice. Five spice. That's yes. Five spice. Once again, readily available from a Western market. And we mix. See this thick, rich. This is gonna make some pretty lollipops. Okay, now everybody gets a baste, so let's bring our chicken back. So with our chicken here, our sauce here, I'm gonna take some of the sauce out and hold it back for basting while it's cooking. And now everybody just gets a generous coating, a generous shellacking. Oh boy. Honestly, the smell really is. And you know, I was watching back one of the episodes the other day and I mentioned the smell part. 
And for a second I thought, eh, stupid, I say that all the time. But the reality is, smell is such an important part of cooking. Oh yeah. And when you're not even eating yet, just in the making part or cooking, and you smell something tremendous, why wouldn't you want to comment? So we'll just keep going here. Give everybody a nice coat. Don't forget, we're coming back again partway through cooking. So if they're not 100,000% perfect here, don't feel bad. Look how nice they look now in this color. All right, three more. Two more. I sound like one of those guys from the gyms. The personal trainer guy. And three more. Two more. One more. All right, give me five more, Alan. Come on. Just for fun. You can do this. Stretch, Alan. Stretch. We're working off that burger you had yesterday, buddy. Let's go. We're good. Let's set up for some uh, knee bends. Oh. oh, boy. Okay, come on, quick. We I got just ruined my perfect shot. We got to get these on the uh, smoker. Let's go. And here we are. Lovely. So, in we go. Oh, you guys are gonna want me to use my left hand, aren't you? So I don't, it, it's so I don't mess the shot. Let's go, guys. Some little look at that little kid. There's all kinds of different sizes that you get in a pack. Everybody goes in. Everybody's standing up. Nobody's falling down because of the little cut we made. This is important. I'll go one more up here. There we go. Everybody's set, and we're down. The smoker's at 300 degrees. I think it's gonna take about uh, an hour, though we will definitely temp with our thermometer. So if you don't have a smoker, you're using your oven, 300 degrees, it's that simple. By the way, if you don't have a big oven, you have a toaster oven, you can do exactly this in your toaster oven. Just not as many. I think people forget how convenient and useful a toaster oven is. They're very, very handy. Did you just create the ultimate dorm room wings? They could be. Look, I've cooked a big fat ribeye in a toaster oven before at a radio station, and it was amazing. They were like, what, how do you do that? I go, it's an oven. I did the reverse sear thing, you can do it. We did it in one of our videos too. We did it in one of oh, our videos video, too. Jeez, we did, absolutely. Max has got a good memory. I'm much older than him, and I've done a variety of things in my life that would uh, help me lose brain cells. It's, it's amazing that I can keep it together like, stop it. Get out of that shut. Anyway, uh, we'll come back in uh, a few minutes and we'll baste. Maybe every 10, 15 minutes, we'll give it another quick little lacquer coat and keep them beautiful. Don't go away. It's been about uh, uh, 12, 15 minutes. Get away, fly. And now we want to baste. So we'll pick one guy up, give him another coat, put him back, and continue. Thankfully, I have the security of my gifted welding gloves to keep me safe from the heat. I love the color. Last one. And we're done. Goodbye. I've lacquered them with the brush and the sauce once more since you last saw them. Here's my question to you. Are you ready? Because I know how they look and I know what I'm about to unveil. The question is, can you handle it? I believe I promised glossy and lacquered. Should we look, Max? Let's do it. Chance? Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, what? They look fake. They're like a highly polished wax fake chicken lollipops. The most gorgeous things I've ever seen. These were slightly more than an hour, maybe an hour 10, but we did spend a little time with the lid up taking pictures, so. Now we just need to take them off and get into them. Oh my gosh. Hi cutie. <laughs> my little friend. Honey. Is that man using a welding glove to get those lollipops off his smoker? The real question is, why do you even have a welding glove? I was sent a pair of welding gloves from a 
loyal fan who saw me burn the shit out of myself. You were a man. Stop it. Well, they deserved more in presentation, so between taking them off and now, I've replated them onto this beautiful black slate. And now we'll just stand and admire, much like you would do in a museum. Except that <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> much like you would do in a museum. You stand back, you look, you take a, an angle shot of the whole thing. Maybe the lollipops look different from this side. Black as always. Maybe they look different from the back, which by the way, you can't do with the painting, but we can here. Wow. These have just got my heart racing. I'm so excited. Not because there's flies out. I'll just stand. How's this? Is this shot okay? I'll just stand here and do this. Yeah, you rotating in the back is really great. It's probably time to eat one, wouldn't you say? I would say. All right. It's obvious to me which one I'm going to get. Anybody else? This guy? That's my guess. Chancy, where are you going? Wait. Although you do like to pull things from the back. Nope, not going for any of those. I'm going for this guy because he's wonky. It's like when I'm in the supermarket. I like buying fruit and produce that's a little jacked up sometimes because I feel sorry for it. But this guy, oh boy, he's all mine. Honestly, this feels more substantial than a regular drumstick. It really does. I don't know if it's because the weight is all concentrated at the bottom or how freaking gorgeous it looks. I, I can almost see my, oh, I can see myself. It's, it's almost so, like a candy apple, that's what it that's is. That's what it is. It's a candy apple with the, the, the popsicle stick in it. Yeah. Best analogy ever, Max. Here we go. Even the bottom of it's pretty. How often can you say that? Never. Oh my God. I got nothing. Mm. Sticky. Sweet. The five spices coming through, the honey's coming through. Tender. Perfect. Could you get them this gorgeous, this shiny, this lacquered with like regular barbecue sauce? I don't think so. The honey made a big difference in this. A very big difference. Oh my God. So do it. Took a little bit of work. But imagine, imagine in the beginning when we just had them done, thinking you're walking around, asking your friends if they want one. Now look at what you're offering. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for, for watching our stuff, commenting, liking, hitting the notification bell, all that stuff. All of it, we are very thankful to you for. And now I am thankful for the next few bites I'm gonna have. Those are fucking mess to eat, though.